There are even statistics saying that some of us shouldn't be alive today, let alone graduating and leading a successful life in the near future. It has not escaped our minds that during the past four years at Lynchon News, we have suffered the loss of a promising few who were taken away before their time. But it is no coincidence that we have made it through the early storms of life. It is a blessing to have been given the chance to continue our journeys, a blessing that must not be wasted for our own sake and for the sake of those who were lost along the way. It's strong to say we were survivors, therefore we should live as such. We may bend, but we don't fold, we don't break. We aren't a statistic that can be calculated based on the majority. We are unique individuals who will not only make a difference, but be a difference in this world. Regardless of how things may seem, or regardless of what may frequently be displayed in the media, each and every one of our lives matters, because we are the future, collectively and respectively. Have faith that anything is possible, while keeping in mind that it's not enough to just want a future for yourself. While keeping in mind that it's not enough to just believe that you have a future. While keeping in mind that faith without work is dead. We must work, press, and endure, even more than we have done for so many years, in order to have a brighter future. In addition, we must continue to ask ourselves, what will my future hold? What will I do to prepare for it? What seeds will I plant in the years that follow? Seeds of mediocrity or seeds of excellence at its best? What legacy will I leave for those that follow close behind me? And lastly, am I ready? Before I take my seat, it is imperative that we give a round of applause to all of our respected families. <laughs> to those that pushed us to higher heights when it seemed we were at our deepest depths. I personally would like to give thanks to my mother and my grandmother. We refuse to settle for anything less than greatness from them. When we saw problems and situations seem less than hopeful, they have both spoiled me and given me the best they had to offer for my better. I would also like to thank the remainder of my family who inspired me through their dedication to their respective passions, and whose relentless faith and encouragement never failed. Lastly, I would like to thank the administrators and staff at Lancaster High School who have supplied us with the means and wisdom by which we may succeed in the world all too often. As life goes on, we will change, and as we change, our best will change. Our highest heights today will not be the same heights tomorrow. And our highest heights tomorrow will not be the same heights the day after. But always remember to continue to elevate yourselves. Never forget to dare to dream. Thank you.